What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about an easy way to save and load different groups of SketchUp extensions all at the same time. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I use a ton of SketchUp extensions and sometimes managing them, um, keeping the ones that I want loaded versus the ones I don't unloaded can be a little bit time consuming. Well, what I've been using is I've been using a tool from Sketchucation that allows me to save groups of plugins or extensions and then load them all at once. So if you've ever downloaded extensions from Sketchucation, you've probably downloaded their plugin store extension and installed it. And so what that does, and we've talked about this before, I'll link to this page in the notes below, but what it does is it gives you access to the Sketchucation extension store directly inside of SketchUp. That means that you can come in here and you can download different extensions directly inside of SketchUp that maybe don't live in the regular SketchUp extension warehouse. So this is usually what people use Sketchucation for. But what people don't realize is when they install Sketchucation, it also installs a different tool set over here. And um, the one that I use the most inside of this tool set is the plugins manager. And so if I click on the plugins manager, what that's going to do is that's going to show me all of the plugins that are installed inside of SketchUp right now. Um, and what it does is it gives me the ability to load and unload those different extensions. So notice how, for example, if I wanted to unload Enscape, I could come in here and I can click on this right button right here. That's going to move it out of the list. So if I restart SketchUp, now the Enscape's been removed. Notice how it doesn't show up in my extension manager anymore either. And so what this does and the reason I use it is because a lot of the time for me, when I disable an extension over here and then I click on the save and I restart SketchUp, it when I restart SketchUp, the extension show up as enabled again. And so sometimes I've had to do that multiple times where I disable something, apply the changes, and then have to do it multiple different times. The Sketchication way just works a little bit better. So like if I unload Enscape in here, there's no chance that I'm going to restart SketchUp and Enscape is going to show up um, inside of SketchUp. It's going to be unloaded. But I can also use this in order to quickly load extensions. So for example, if I wanted to load like Curveloft, I can just click on this button right here in order to load that in. Notice how it shows up right here. So for me, this is just a better tool. Um, it's a more consistent tool than the Sketch or the SketchUp Extension Manager, um, at least for me. Um, it might be a little advanced for some people, but it works really well for me. Plus, it gives me this big list of extensions that I can see and I can load in um, without having to mess around with the, the enable, disable, all of that. But Specifically, what I wanted to talk about in this video is not only do we have the ability to load those individual extensions like this, and again, notice how that error is just telling me that some of the menus won't show up until the next time I restart SketchUp. But what I wanted to talk about in this video is not only do we have the ability with those individual extensions to load them in, we also have the ability to save sets. The sets are going to give you the ability to save different loaded configurations. So what that means is, let's say that I didn't want any extensions loaded. Well, I have one of these in here that's marked as none, and I can just click on the option to apply. Well, notice what that does is that will take this to whatever the state was that I saved it in when I created it. So what that means is that means that now, other than the SketchUp extensions, I no longer have any extensions loaded like this. All right, so now let's say that I wanted to create a set that doesn't unload, but it loads a bunch of these. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to bring in a bunch of the architectural related extensions for SketchUp. Well, what I could do is I could add something a plugin set called architectural, right? Well, in this case, what I would do is I would bring over all the tools that I want. So we'll bring in 1001 bit tools, architectures, placemaker, profile builder, sketch plus. So just the architectural related extensions. But anyway, we'll, we'll call this good. So let's say that you wanted this to be your architectural related set of extensions. Well, what you could do is you would just take this architectural, once you've loaded in everything that you want, click on the option for update. And that's gonna update the selected set. So now, whenever I load that in, that group of extensions is going to get loaded. So when I'm not using it, I could just go back to my none, 
or I could have like I, I could have like an essentials group if I wanted to. But now if I was to apply none, notice how none of those extensions are loaded. And so if I was to go back to my none, none of those extensions would be loaded. But then if I wanted to turn them all on, I would just click in here and click on the apply button. Notice how it's going to load in those extensions. So you can use this to save groups of extensions and quickly load them directly inside of SketchUp. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. I find this really helpful. I'd be interested to see what you think. If you want to learn more about how to use SketchUp, I'm going to link to my course on this page where you can learn how to model in SketchUp. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.